Hello all and welcome to my video. Um, it's part one of a part three series I'm going to do on um, renovation. So this is removal. Um, so yesterday um, we cut this down as low as we could, five, six mil. Um, luckily we had some rain, so that, that softened up the surface. Um, just helped us get the scarifier in today. Um, so what depth should we be scarifying? Well, what I've done, I've just taken a core down here. So if you look at this, there's nothing there, that's all soil. So there's, we're not really looking to, uh, but the, the answer is if you actually do have thatch, you've got five mil of thatch, then you, you're looking to scarify to a, an end depth of six mil. So you're just, just a mil below it or whatever depth it is. Um, but at the moment, my, my aim of scarifying at the moment is to remove some of this, this patch, patchy sort of lime green grass there's power. So I need to be really getting into that. It's shallow rooted, it should pull out. The moisture's probably not helping today. Um, it's holding things together. But as you can see, I'm really trying to get out some of this brown, brown grass here. Um, just thin it out, take the canopy out. As you can see it's pretty green um so i'm gonna have i'm gonna keep going until i'm really until i think i've really un overdone it um a little thing i've always learned also is um when you, a little indication of when to stop scarifying is also when you can't see the nap between the wickets so everything looks one so at the moment you can still see that's still there so just going on to what we're removing at the moment see that but, um so yeah that's pretty spongy and there's a lot of crap in that um obviously yeah you don't want that in the surface you're never gonna get it that thick probably but this stuff that this this grass and this annuometer grass and sort of dead grass that you that you see we want to remove as much of that as possible so we don't end up with a layer and a sponge that just takes the impact out the ball and the, the pitch doesn't perform as well as it should. I'm lucky enough to have a uh, an, um, um, access to one of these on a tractor. So I know a lot of you guys don't have that the joy of that. Um, so it gives us a real chance to hit this. So I think I've hit this four or five times and I'm going to keep going. because I'm still removing a lot of rubbish. I'm going to... I just want to basically I'm trying to just strip this top off a bit get the as I said earlier get the canopy down um thin it right out get out you're not gonna get every bit of that out but just get 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 more of that dead grass out um and when I and when I think I've overdone it I'll probably go an extra couple of directions um I say because of because uh the rain yesterday it's really held together really well so it's slightly misleading if there was dust flying everywhere. I th but yeah, these ones here are a bit thicker. So I'll give these some pretty extra attention. Extra, rather rather than the whole square, I'll probably just put a bit extra work into these. But anyway, that's the first video of, of a set of three on removing. Um, I look forward to uh, doing part two.